One of the things that we would encourage teachers to do is to value change and to encourage them to get their kids to value change. Um, we want adults who read not just to confirm what they believe, but to actually explore what they believe, perhaps refine it, change it, maybe even refute it, maybe even abandon it for some better, sharper, clearer idea. And you can value change by asking questions that simply don't have one right answer, uh, asking questions that have to be argued for which kids have to provide some evidence or some rationale. And there's nothing wrong with the kid who starts the conversation by saying, I think it means, and then through conversation ends up saying, well, no, now I think it means this. And one of the best ways to show a child that that's an okay way to think is for you to stand in front of them, read something, and let them listen to your own teaching or thinking process so that they hear you say, gosh, I think this author is saying whatever. And then as you move on through the text, you begin to clarify that. And you may even end up changing your whole position on what you thought the entire piece meant. Let kids see that change isn't being a flip-flopper. Change is about growing. Change is about learning. Change is about discovering who you are as a reader. And one of the most important things that can happen when we read is to recognize that reading changes us.